Hello heroes and welcome back to my challenge run of Dark Souls 3 where we try and beat the game as the Grim Reaper. But the Grim Reaper is kind of vague, so what does that entail? Well, we're allowed to use anything the Grim Reaper uses in any depiction of him in any media. Now, what do you think of when you think of the Grim Reaper? Of course, a skeleton garbed in black robes wielding a scythe. Our only melee weapons will be scythes. Our only gear will be black robes, and while I will allow some skeletal gear, it'll have to be either skeletal robes or a skeletal scythe. I won't allow myself to go out of either of those two categories. And I feel like the Grim Reaper also uses dark magics, so I am also going to allow the use of hexes. And of course, we must bring death to all the bosses to win. Kick it off episode 3, we're finally headed into the Ithoral City, where we can get access to our third scythe, the Pontif Scythe, which will be our last scythe till we get to the DLC. Also, thank you, you hear that? Bonus battle! We didn't see Beetlejuice 2 yesterday. Oh, was it any good? Oh, wow, that's not a lot of damage. I think this is a dark style enemy, so maybe a dark buff wasn't the best idea. Oh, did I get that heal off? I think I did. <laughs> oh my god. Weird, but cool. Well, I guess that's kind of what the first one was, right? Oh, we're so lucky you whiffed there. Oh, critical? No, I didn't get the hit! Nice! Lead to finish it off, and the Pontif Right Eye Ring. Ooh, what does that do? Boost attack as long as attacking persists. Eh, the scythe is so slow, I don't feel like we're really going to get much value out of that. And we're through, chat. That's the weird, like, doll that the uh, Deacons of the Deep drop that allows us to get through that. I don't know what these ghost ones are that you see walking past. It's cool, though. <gasps> Crystal Lizard! Please don't bonk. No! No! Oh, last second. Wait, is that... A fucking hidden stairs? I'll be honest, chat. I didn't even know hidden stairs existed in the Souls games. What? Where am I right now? Dude, you gotta fucking stop all those combos. Oh, this drops me down over here. Can I open this up? Don't emote, you fuckwit! Yeah, we can open it up. Nice, nice. Who's that over there? Someone who looks like they need to meet my friend, Death. Oh my god, that's so good damage. Oh, don't jump down now, dude! Are you kidding me?! Don't. Oh, I'm out of magic. Just got a blimp one recently. Cool. Oh my god, did she just drop tier 2 Gnaw? Our Gnaw's already hitting like 350. Oh my god, chat. Oh my god, get me to the next bonfire. We need to crypt that right now. Safe. Alright, let's try out Gnaw level 2. Hell yeah. The Gnaw one is 18. That's 25. Exactly how much we have. Let's go! Let's try it on these guys. A hundred? I guess they are armed enemies. A Until Dawn style game does definitely put it up in my light rate. It bleeds them in two hits? Wow! That's right, Gnaw level two, Doris's gnawing, is really that good. That is going to be carrying us through the rest of this run. And remember, I have the minimum stats for it with no rings equipped. This can still get so much better. I was going to stay here and appreciate the art. No. Oh, well. There it is, chat. There's the one with the scythe. There's the one with the scythe. That's pretty tough, too. Let's see if we get in the blessed RNG and get it on the first drop. Everybody praise RNG. Praise RNG. Oh. No. We got a drop, but it was the wrong one. 
Oh my god, it's got such a big hit radius. It'll actually have a worse hit radius when we use it, because it'll be like sized down. No drop, damn. Uh, I don't want to risk buffing before in the boss room. Wait, don't emote, dude! Stop! I'm so sick of sick at sex this emoting. Oh my good god. Okay, I'm ready this time. I'm ready this time. No scope? Ah, oh, more to the left. Ah, oh, too far down. Fucking hell. Oh, that's so delayed! Every other attack he does is so fast. And that is, like, ridiculously delayed. We might need to go through the prison area first, yeah. I haven't even got a hit on him yet. Are you joking me with a turn on that spell? What the fuck? Oh! Oh, we got it! We got it! No way! No way! Oh, a blessing from Iron Jesus. Wow, so lucky on that drop. Unfortunately, though, as it is a special ability frost buff weapon, you can't dark buffer, and it has less range, so it's not going to be a replacement for our Corvine Great Scythe. Even more unfortunately, Pontiff Sullivan is absolutely shitting on me. I died over 10 times to this guy, never getting more than 3 hits, because up close, he is just fucking unstoppable unless we got like double stamina and put some heavy armor on up close and personal is not going to work no phase two he seems to change when he does phase two depending on what mood he's in sometimes it's half sometimes it's like a third sometimes it's like 40 percent now you phase two are you kidding me and to add insult to injury, he has three phases. A phase two regains the ability to fly, and a phase three regains a shadow clone. Oof. You gotta get rid of those emotes. I know, right? Whose idea was it to have six axis emotes? Oh, holy shit. I was not ready for that. Oh, and he's dodging now? What's causing him to dodge sometimes and not other times? I know he always dodges in phase two, but that's the first time I've seen a dodge in phase one. Okay, get ready. Phase two should be any second now. Yeah, there it is, there it is. Massive. As long as he doesn't kill us here, we should be good. Yeah, he does the clone. That should be a couple of free hits, right? No, the clone's in the way. That didn't even hit him, what? Okay, that did hit him, he didn't manage to dodge that. Oh, that had no range, what? Okay, now the question is, when do we cast it? Yep, that's right. In phase three, he starts actively dodging range attacks. Now, Doris's Gnawing does have a small amount of tracking, but it's not enough to track him through his sidesteps. But that's where phase two comes into play. In phase two, he grows wings and will occasionally do a jumping attack. If we dodge the hit from this, so we don't need to spend our time in a recovery animation, and immediately fire Doris's Gnawing, we can get in a hat while he's recovering from the jump attack. The only problem is he will only cast this if we're lucky once or twice a minute and Doris's gnawing isn't one huge damage it's half a bleed proc and then a finished bleed proc so if he takes more than 30 seconds in between jumps our magic is completely wasted there's nothing i can do he'll dodge if i cast it oh there it is no it was too long in between attacks wait can we get him here yes Yes! Oh my god! Zero casts left! Zero casts left! Woo! Oh my god. Oh my god. Six axis most. Cheers. Cheers to that. 
yeah, right here, this is like the PvP area in this game. Two crystal lizards as well. Let's see if we can get him. Ah! Oh! Did I get them both? Oh, I got one. Right, let's fight them up here. The giants can't back them up here. Oh, shit. Did we just get invaded? We did just get invaded. 8640. The award for the least original name goes to that guy. <laughs> we got to be careful. There's even more areas up here. Enemies up here. Is he using my same weapon? Oh my god, dude. That's my weapon. Get your own weapon. The NPCs are harder than he is. How far can I go without getting ranged? Not that far. These are pretty dangerous, these areas. Oh no, he's pinned me in. Ah. Oh, we're being so. Okay, where is he? My thing's telling me to go over here. Should we pre buff? We should probably pre buff, right? Weird that it didn't just spawn me next to him. Yo, I got you, dude. I got you. I got you. This guy is, seems in very chill gear. Oh, it's the number guy again. I'm almost positive it's a bomb. I'm almost positive it's a bomb. Let him heal, dude. Oh, other guy, what are you doing? Nice! We got him! We got him! Oh, we're gonna hit him with the praise the sun emote. Praise the sun! Hell yeah. Vengeance on that guy. That's definitely a bot, by the way. That's fucking definitely a bot. Let me know in the comments, do you think that was a bot? I mean, based on its name and the way it was responding to my movements it definitely felt robotic that did not feel like the fluid reactions of an actual person using controller that definitely felt more robotic <laughs> remember this isn't 2016 when this game came out this is 2024 people do make bot scripting programs to play games why i don't know i don't know <gasps> trolls chat they will do anything to ruin your day and or londo good progress today chat good progress no, not Andre the Giant. Not that guy. All right, let's open up the main door. Skadoosh. Oh my god, another one of these motherfuckers? How many is that, like four in these areas now? Cut me a break. You are not cursing me, not today. Not ever. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Scythe lives matter. <laughs> oh, ceiling clutched it for me there. Doris is gnawing. Too strong. Okay, I'm way under geared, but let's try try this boss out. The Devourer. You will be the one who is devoured. 17! Okay, that is not... That is not filling me with hope, that 17 damage. That sounds insane, dude. Oh my god, that did so much damage, holy shit. That can target back into you? Oh my god, that's insane targeting. Okay, up close, we're doing no damage. We're doing absolutely no damage. I think just Doris' gnawing range is the go. We just gotta play it safe with these fucking magical orbs. Oh, just easier said than done. There's a fucking bastard of an attack. And she really likes to spam it. Oh, 
Oh, we're actually doing some melee attacks for a change? Quite nice. Maybe that's the go. Bait her in melee range and then, then hit her with range attacks. Oh, how, how far range is that one? Actually, not far at all. Oh my god, wrong one! Wrong one! No, I just completely wasted that flask. Alright, phase two. More of that can bastard ass attack. We're just gonna play the dodging game every time she does it. Oh, she actually sets the arena on fire, damn. That tank just has no range. I'm running away. Like that's gonna waste half the arena and it's just doing like nothing. Okay, Death Arrow's gonna get one shot in. I'm gonna go for it. What? What? It's going for so long! Oh my god, I was not ready for that to go, to go for so long. Holy shit. Okay, that's got no range. We can just we can just keep firing. Come on, one more, one more. One more! No! Don't let it get it off! Yes! Let's go! The Reaper claims another victim. I mean, are hexes technically miracles? Standard one is 334. 368. It's a little bit more. 396. Nearly 400. Oh, that is a noticeable difference. That is a noticeable difference. Oh, man. Oh yeah, the build is coming together nicely now. I finally got a high enough attunement stat to have all three of my hexes equipped without needing the ring. So while looking through my other rings, I discovered that I had both the boost and greatly boost miracle rings, which for some reason hexes and miracles in this game, and both of them on together is nearly a 25% damage boost. Wow. And now it's time for everybody's favorite area, the prison. Oh. Hey, buddy. Um, do you mind if I kill this crystal lizard real quick? We have the land to tire him out. We live in the most northern part of Scotland. Titanite chunk! Massive! We can upgrade our scythe with that. Okay, one of these is a mimic, right? It's not this one. That means it must be this one! Hiya! Yeah, that's right. I ain't falling for your mimicry. I ain't falling for your mimicry. Dark clutch ring. Oh! <gasps> Is that the one that boosts the power of hexes? Increase dark attack, but decrease dark absorption. No! Because Doris is gnawing, even though it's a hex, doesn't have dark damage scaling. Damn. Get up, get up, get up, get up! Oh, no! Whew! Safe. Safe. All right, as soon as we get the dragon prey emote, we could access the secret dragon area over there in the dragon cult. But I'll be honest, do not remember how to get that emote. Let me double check. Do I have the dragon emote? It's like you pray, but you're doing like this. No, we don't have it. We don't have it. Embers, I've played too much Dark Souls 1, chat. I've played too much Dark Souls 1. It's all embers to me. Oh, and that makes you fat roll. Oh, I hate these guys so much. Is this openable? This is openable. Although these things are almost definitely going to one-shot me. No! Oh. Nice. Oh, no way! We actually got it, chat. No way. Symbol of Avalice. 1% Avarice. Drop rate. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Our Jesus was on our side today. Streamer RNG. For real. For real. That's all three Souls games now. I've gotten that in all three Souls games. I think there's what, like 10, 15 mimics per game? That's crazy. That's crazy. Bonfire, yes. Don't tell me there's another mimic. One thing for sure, your build don't sound very common. It was a mimic too. Oh my god. Oh my god, they're both mimics. <laughs> <laughs> Toos! Oh my god, I love that! How did we live that? Oh my god, is that a third chest? Oh 
no. Oh no, chat. I just remembered something. So this boss, let me uh, let me hit him so you guys can see. This boss has like infinite damage resistance, right? He has like 99% damage resistance, and you're intended to damage you're intended to damage him with that sword. But that sword's not a scythe. Oh no! Oh no! Um, how does Doris's gnawing do? Better! That's a lot better. That's as many damage as like three hits. Yeah, so this isn't a problem in Demon Souls, Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2, or Bloodborne. But in Dark Souls 3 and Elden Ring, there is gimmick bosses that are almost impossible to beat if you don't use the gimmick weapon. Oh, I completely forgot about Yom the Giant until I entered this boss arena. It's just second nature to pick up the Storm Ruler and kill him normally on a normal playthrough. Oh my god. Luckily, that you don't deal zero damage with your other weapons. You just deal minuscule damage. So this is going to be like a half an hour boss fight where I have to just perform perfectly. <laughs> and he has a phase two where he goes crazy with huge AoEs. I am not looking forward to this. So my plan is do everything else max out my character, finish both the DLCs, and then come back and beat this guy before we take on the last boss. And hopefully it'll be at least a little bit easier, because this is the wall that could stop us finishing this run. So you might be asking yourself, where the hell am I going to go if I don't kill Yom the Giant? I can't access the capital city unless I beat him, right? Well, there is actually a speedrunner skip where if you kill the old lady that gives you the banner at the beginning of the game... It will actually auto-progress you as if you've already beaten all the other lords and allow you to fight the Dancer to get access to the capital city. And thank God this is available, because if it wasn't, we'd have to go and do the DLCs, and I am not ready for that just yet. <laughs> so creepy that it's just been up there that whole time. Ah, the way it moves. It's been haunting. Grey armor as well. That like, ghost cape looks insane. Would love to wear that, but it just doesn't look deathy enough. The ghost cape. Oh, so good though. Oh, trying to grab me? Not on my watch. Whoa! That damage was out of control! What? Oh my god, chat. We've officially broken Doris's Gnaw. We're doing, like, broken levels of damage here. Uh-oh, not in phase two, though. She gets, like, super resistance. Oh god! No, we're good, we're good. It, it just makes it take two hits instead of one to proc the, like, damage. Oh, I whiffed it! No, I whiffed it! Oh, shit. We're getting stuck in a healing loop now. This is not good. Yes, let's go. First try dancer chat. Hell yeah. That is the power of two miracle boosting rings and Doris's gnaw. Insane.
But unfortunately, that is all we have time for today, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you want to be my hero, why not consider subscribing? And if this wasn't intense enough for you, you can check me out on Twitch. We recorded all of this live. And make sure to tune in next episode when we're finally going to explore the capital city and take on some of Dark Souls 3's hardest bosses. And also finally get an armor set that's fully black, the black hand set. Oh my god. I actually can't wait for that. That set is like really going to put everything together and make us look like the Grim Reaper. <laughs>